Hello. Okay, how's it going? This is question of the week number five, asked by our friend on Instagram, JRZ895. Jonathan Zawatsky. Jonathan Zawatsky. I don't know. Hopefully, I... we're pronouncing that right. Yeah. <laughs> it's. You know what's really cool that he's a he's asking um. Uh, this question is because he he used to be in a band last flight, and their drummer Lenny asked. What was our first question of the week? About our tattoos, right? Remember that? Was that the first one or the second one? Let's look at it right now. Okay, hold on. I think it was the second one. No. No, it was the first one. Yes, right. it's the first one. Yeah, it's the first so, one. So, yeah, throwback. <laughs> throwback indeed. So the question is... last flight, for the record. Yes. Reunion show. <laughs> uh, what is the best memory you have playing a show? Friends and fans... Uh, Zach, go first, because I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I have to think about it. Well, I have the least amount of shows <laughs> to choose from. But I'm going to say, I mean, the best time playing a show with three active material is definitely, like, over the summer we played at this place in the city, in the village, called Lit Lounge. That was a really cool place. And I don't think there was, like, one best memory from there, but I think the whole show was just pretty cool. Actually, like... We, we drove up to the place, and it's just this little tiny thing in the middle of, you know, like, stores and, and restaurants, and we didn't even know that this was the place we were supposed to play at. It was in the Lower East Side. Yeah, yeah, there was three different doors with the same address number, so we were confused. No name on the place, <laughs> no like, name. no address, like, nothing. Yeah, we were um, thinking about, there was a comic book shop or something next door. I was like, yeah, we should go there and just chill there. Yeah. <laughs> But um, then we went there and we played and it was a really it was a really cool show. Everyone was having a good time. A lot of cool bands. We played Mosey Jones, The Lonely Ears, and uh, just really good vibes in that show. Shout out to The Lonely Ears for getting us on that show. Absolutely. You want me to go or you? You can go. <laughs> okay. The best one of the best shows, uh, the best memories I have playing a show had to be when we opened up for Michael Graves back in August twelfth. 2012? August 17th. Oh, August 17th. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, because fucking Michael Graves from the Misfits. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, it's really any show where you, there's a lot of people, you all come, move around, mosh, participate, especially the conga line. That's, that's a great show. That is the best show. Just where, when there's, everybody's having fun, uh, not giving a fuck, and, you know, just having a good time. Really, that that's that's all. That those those are my best memories. Uh, um, I'm still kind of baffled. I don't really have a favorite show. I just have like favorite, like more than one. I know one of the first ones that I really enjoyed. That um, I thought it was like it was really cool. We played the battle of the bands in Jersey. There was uh, two rounds. The first round, um, I think it was the first time that we did the conga line, and it was just so cool seeing you know Kenny get off the stage. And just everyone following him around, and I was just on the stage playing, still playing, and I like had like a front row seat to like what was going on. It was pretty damn cool seeing everybody get into the music like that. And and that was our first out of state show as a band. That's true. And that's it was true. a battle of bands, which we advanced to the next round from. So that's that's saying something. Yeah, yeah, that was. It was it was a really cool show, and then the, there was also a show we played in Coney Island. We were right on the, sh right on the boardwalk, right off the boardwalk. This, uh, this bar called Peggy O'Neill's, that was really cool because people would just walk by and take pictures, you know, stick around, watch us. Um, our comeback show after Sandy, that was a really great show. Like, a lot of people came and supported us and supported all the other bands. We had some bands that hadn't played in a while play for us. It was, I don't know, I can't, I can't really narrow it down. <laughs> the funny thing about the Peggy O'Neill show in, in Coney Island... We played was, another show the same day. Yes, so we went from Coney Island back to Staten Island and played uh, the Indiglo Lounge. The Indiglo Lounge. Yeah, it's, that was cool. It's it was it was a challenge to get from one place to the other the same day in only a certain amount of hours, but <laughs> yeah, it was fun to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many shows. Like, even the shows that they said, Michael Open Up for Michael Graves is awesome. That show that we played at. Uh, I don't even know what the hell was the name of the Lit show. Lounge. <laughs> yeah, that that was a cool show too. That was like this underground place and it was like really small and even, even though it was like it was just a cool environment you know like you felt you were like you were playing in like the Batcave or something <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome 
So, yeah, I can't really <clears throat> narrow it down, but all those were great memories, and all of our friends and fans were there, and I wouldn't trade it to the world. So uh, thank you to Jonathan once again, and uh, ask us questions, anything. Yeah, please. We like answering questions. White stains on my bed. Can't get you out of my head.